Hello, my name is Jeff Schmidt. I live in the USA and I have a daughter, Erica, who got sick with atypical hemolytic uremic syndrome, or AHUS, uh, back in August of 2011 when she was 22. And back then, we didn't know anybody else that had this disease. It was a very lonely, dark feeling. Scare, very scary. You know, you had no, really no idea you know, what your future is going to be because you had no one to, you know, talk to and then find out, you know, how they did. So in 2014, uh, an amazing group was created called uh, Atypical HUS Families on Facebook. And there are now um, people affected by HUS from over 40 countries in this group. Uh, it's an amazing, uh, support, amazingly supportive group. We're real, we call ourselves a family, which we really are. I mean, it's not just, you know, words to say that. We really do mean that. Um, and it, you know, the the amount of help that it gives people who, you know, you they'll listen to somebody's story that they shared, or maybe there's a question. I mean, the question says in a, in a, you know, in a post, Hey, you know, is there anybody out there who has a successful pregnancy on on echolizumab, which is the drug that um, you know that, that was that treats this disease, that or ravulizumab? And you'll get, you know, people will weigh in with their um, experiences and tell you what's happened with them, and it's just an amazing thing. Um, yeah, social media is is very important with probably any disease, but you know, for us it's very important. Um, I belong to the, or I'm a member of the AHUS Alliance, which is a group, global organization that supports those affected by AHUS around the world. Uh, one of my main um, things to do in this, in this is to lead this initiative called Rest of the World, or ROW. And what I do with that is, you know, I, I search out in countries that don't have an official HUS association or support group and I will you know I will try to connect them with others in their country by creating a Facebook group uh, publicizing it in the um, you know the atypical HUS families group or on the Alliance page and you know try to connect people from particular countries like um, Norway Iran, um, China, I mean, New Zealand, South Africa, I mean, there's, I have 22 of these groups at this point, um, connecting uh, families together, and it's, it's just been a wonderful experience, you know, meeting these people and, and just helping them from the start, which is something I didn't have, or my family didn't have. Um, so, you know, these, these groups, are just amazing. The global group is great for everybody to talk to. It's very active. These, you know, these country uh, groups are, you know, generally smaller because, you know, you it's not a global effort. It's it's just you know for that country. But they they are they're getting bigger and bigger as as time goes on. And what they can do once they start connecting with more people is it's easier to advocate for themselves. And you know we're we're encouraging them to uh, become an official HUS association, but for now it, it's just a great thing to connect these people and um, just very very important. Anyway, that's it for me. Bye.